What's up guys, uh, today's video is going to be about the iPhone uh, firmware. Now we all know we have uh, the latest version, what well, you should have the latest version of iOS 4.2.1. Now um, when when you download this um, the software it goes on your computer so you have to download so it's on your computer somehow but earlier today, actually just a few minutes ago um, I tried to restore my phone because it's laggy, I'm jailbroken, it, it's pissing me off because it's tethered and I can't shut my phone off so I'm like screw it, I'll wait for the untethered and I'll restore my phone. Now I went on here and I tried to restore my phone, I kept on getting an error. An error, an error, an error, an error, an error. I forgot what error it was but there's a way that you can go inside your computer that will allow you to um, let's say uh, download the new firmware. So you have to delete the firmware that's already on your computer. Now you can't. There are websites out there that will allow you to download firmwares off the internet. But you know sometimes that that could be tricky. I mean I don't really like doing that that much. Um, I have a link down below where you can get firmwares. Um, it's uh, this right here. I have a link down below. You can go here. You can go ahead and download the latest version of any firmware from the iPod Touch to the iPhone, the iPad, the Apple TV 2. To the latest, the older generations and the newer generations of the iPods itself, and you can download the firmwares here. But if you want to do a, a direct download from Apple's servers, from Apple's website, um, what you have to do is you have to go inside your computer. Um, so you're gonna go to Start. Um, this is different in um, Mac. So if you're on a Mac, just Google it. Uh, where is my iPhone firmware uh, stored on my computer? Just do that for Mac, and it should come right on up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go Start. You're gonna go to Computer. You're gonna go to local C. Now, uh, if you don't have um, your some of the folders un unhidden, so there's folders on your computer that are hidden. Um, so when you double click on them, you can't get into it because you have to have permission and they're hidden. That's why. So you have to, you have to uh, ask for permission to get into that. Um, if you don't have that unchecked, you just go to organized. You go to f uh, folder and search options. It'll bring up this. Go to view. And right here, yours should be checked. Don't show hidden files, folders, or devices. Go ahead and uncheck that. It's saying show hidden files and folders and devices. Click apply, and it should be here. And then what you want to do when you're inside your C computer, you want to go to user, what you named your computer, whatever you named it. I made mine to me. Double click that. Go into app data, which should be hidden, um, but since you unchecked that, it should be visible. Double click that. Go to Roaming, Apple Computer, um, iTunes, and it should say iPhone Software Update or iPod Software Update. Um, so if you have an iPod Touch, you just double click that. Here's the firmware. You can go ahead and delete that. Yes, you want to delete that. It will delete it. Um, it should ask you for your permission if you wanted to. Or you can, uh, if you have the iPhone, since I'm downloading mine right now, it's uh, still downloading as you can see here. Uh, it says downloading downloaded um, so it should be right in here so hope you guys enjoy this is how you get to your iPhone firmware um, if you didn't know how to do it if you want to restore, restore your phone but it keeps giving you errors you can just go into your local C computer go to users to meet app data roaming Apple computer iTunes iPhone software or iPod software and it should be there it should give you a, a list of softwares of, from the older softwares to the newer softwares if you kept on updating it from the Apple server and you download them this should be all right here so I hope you guys enjoyed one last time and go ahead and check out your app place dot com and twitter dot com forward slash Timmy a month and I'll see you guys in the next video